Okay, good morning, everybody. Welcome to our April Rising Star Student of the Month recognition celebration. We are so excited to be here this morning to celebrate all of our amazing students. I would like to start off this morning by doing the Pledge of Allegiance. So I'm going to just share my screen. Give me one moment. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all very much for that. Even though we're remote and we're virtual, I'd like to keep our Pledge of Allegiance in there. So thank you so much. Um, so our Rising Star Student of the Month celebration, we have a mission for this program. And the mission is to bring the community together to honor our local high school seniors for demonstrating character, integrity, love of learning, involvement in school and community activities or the ability to overcome challenging life circumstances without compromising their education. The core of the Rising Star Student of the Month is a student who makes a difference in their home, school, and community with sincerity and passion. And so this morning, I'm honored to introduce a number of amazing students. I'm gonna uh, speak name in school, and then um, we'll, we'll go further into our program. So this morning from Alta Vista High School, we have Fernando Avalos from Mission Vista High School, we have Tiffany Gavin from Rancho Buena Vista High School. We have Jordan Deeper. Thank you, Mr. Clevenger. I see you enthusiastically clapping. Thank you. Um, from Tri-City Christian School, we have Ruben, Ruben Adela. From, from Vista High School, we have Oriana Lott and also Alexi Acosta. So congratulations to our students. We're so happy to have you here this morning. We're, get, we're looking forward to hearing from you in just a few moments. I do wanna take a moment um, to recognize and thank our Rising Star Student of the Month sponsors. This program, in addition to a monthly recognition celebration, we're able to offer scholarships. Um, and just earlier this month, we were able to, or just earlier, I think last week, we, were, we sent out the information to all of our school administrators. So administrators, hopefully you received that packet of information to pass along to your students. But we're really excited because our program, we're able to give out at least $1,000 per school. And we're excited that we have some bonus scholarships as well to give away this year. So we'll be able to, to uh, support additional students this year, thanks to the generosity of our sponsors. So I'd like to just acknowledge them right now. Um, so our presenting sponsors, Tri-City Medical Center and Watkins Wellness. We also um, would like to recognize Dr. Bronner's Magic Soaps, Superintendent Dr. Matt Doyle, Joe Green and Green Team Realty, J&R Auto Body and Paint, the Sunrise Kiwanis Club, Tori Walker with Tori Walker Engineering, our, in our Vista PEO chapter, as well as Ryan Video Production. So I wanna thank all of our amazing sponsors for helping us uh, bring this technology forward and as well and um, support our student scholarships that we'll be giving out um, in June. I also wanna recognize we have a number of dignitaries and elected officials who love to watch our program each month and join us in person when we're able to. So I'd like to honor um, and recognize our city of Vista Mayor, Mayor Judy Ritter, as well as our council members, Deputy Mayor Joe Green, Karina Contreras, John Franklin, and Katie Melendez. I also want to recognize our Vista Unified School Board of Trustees, uh, Cipriano Vargas, Julie Kelly, Debbie Morton, Rosemary Smithfield, and Martha Alvarado. And also our school superintendent, Dr. Matt Doyle. We also have uh, representatives from each of our, um, from other elected officials, including Supervisor Jim Desmond's office. Thank you, Crystal Jabara, for joining us each month. From Assemblymember Tasha Brunner Horvath's office, Sulema Balderas. From Assemblymember Marie Waldron's office, we have Matt Stockford. And from State Senator Pat Bates' office, we have Matthew Fai. And lastly, representing U.S. Congressman Mike Levin, Kyle Crayhill, uh, or Francine Busby join us each month. So now let's get into the logistics of our video. Um, we are going to ask, um, we have about five minutes for each student presentation. Um, total, and we're looking for examples of character and how each of these students has made a difference. We'll ask your principal or administrator to speak first, then our student, then our nominating teacher or counselor, and then a parent if you have someone with you today. And mom or dad, if you um, would like, you can speak in whatever language is the most convenient for you, and I'm sure your student will be happy to translate for you. 
Um, we have asked our students to share the following. We've asked them to introduce their family and guests here. We've asked them to share their college or career goals, um, to share about their current school life and answer one of the following questions. What is your greatest contribution to community, school, or family? What do you think is the most significant life lesson you'll take with you to college or beyond? How do you plan to give back to our community or pay it forward? Or lastly, share a personal story that demonstrates an obstacle that you've overcome. So with that, I'm going to invite our first principal to, the, to uh, take the mic. Um, and with that, I'd like to introduce Principal Joseph Clevenger from Rancho Buena Vista High School. You're up first this morning. Fantastic. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm uh, thrilled to be here. Thank you so much, um, Rachel and team, for putting this on. This year has been, um, you know, it's been a challenge in a lot of ways, but I think it's also brought to the forefront um, so many amazing things about our community. Um, and Rachel and your team, uh, the Chamber of Commerce, your commitment to continuing to recognize the very best of our community, uh, which are these rising stars, um, is uh, impressive, and we're just so grateful for it. So just know those claps were also for you a little bit earlier. Um, I just wanted to uh, first congratulate all of our rising stars this month. Uh, my name is Joseph Clevenger. I'm the proud principal at Rancho Buena Vista High School. And today I come bearing uh, really, really special gifts. Um, in selecting the rising star each month, what we do as schools is we, we take a look at the more than 20,000 students in Vista and we, we really look for the cream of the crop, those who um, have overcome obstacles, those who are doing great things. And today I brought with me um, Jordan Deaver. Um, Jordan has um, had a wonderful, wonderful year at RBV. Um, and it's actually his first year here. So in addition to everything else going on, could you imagine switching high schools your senior year? Um, and when you see Jordan at school, you would never know it. He has um, found a way to be completely genuine. And the amount of good that this young man brings with him everywhere he goes is uh, just inspiring. One of the things we focus on in this unified school district, one of our core values is treating all with dignity. And uh, I think that's one of the things that really stands out to me about Jordan. So with that, I'd like to introduce Jordan Deaver. Good morning, I'm Jordan Deaver from Rancho Buena Vista High School. I just, I just want to say how, 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 how I feel like being the, the rising star of April and only, only being here, only being here for, for a half of one and a half years, just, just, just to finish off high school, I, I just feel I just feel very very surprised of receiving receiving this email and being a part of this meeting. It's, it makes me very happy that that I'm I've been chosen I've been nominated as for for getting this award and this has been my, my most inspiring award that I ever got. Um, experienced from when I was in school because this award meant, meant a lot of things to me it meant that I was I was able to overcome a lot a lot of challenging obstacles I was I was able to um, I was I was able to fi figure it out myself maybe accomplish great things and, and Jordan um what are what are some of the things you hope to accomplish or achieve um, in the next few years of your life? College. First off, I, I want to come. I want to start off at Palomar College, stay there for two years and major in electrical engineering, and then after I'll, I'll transfer to a four-year university, maybe University of California, Los Angeles, or Notre Dame University. Fantastic. Jordan, thank you so much again. Um, we are so very proud of you. Well, thank you very much. And again, congratulations. Um, and I'd also like to introduce um, uh, one of our teachers at RBB who's been a, an important uh, part of Jordan's career, uh, Coach Shane Graham. Coach, you have a few words? I do. Good morning. Good morning. Um, you got to hear a little bit about Jordan and his, um, his um, transfer and how he came over. Um, he is one of, one of the most committed uh, people I've ever met or come across, especially as a student. Um, 
He's shown great commitment as far as in, in his role as a senior leader on our football team. He dedicated himself to helping all the, all, all the other players prepare for the season. He's also been extremely committed to, to maintaining his grades. He has a 3.4 GPA and he's never missed a practice. So there's, there's a lot of commitment in his, in his life. Um, I think he only has two C's in his whole high school career. Everything else is, is higher. Um, he has an unscheduled six period and he was usually staying on campus to work on his assignments in my room and get everything done. Um, he's a model example of what a student athlete and a Longhorn should be. So we're all, all very proud of Jordan. Thank you for that, uh, Mr. Graham. Very much appreciate it. Um, uh, Mr. Deaver, I see you're there. Um, anything you'd like to share, sir? Absolutely, Mr. Clevenger. Uh, first, I'd like to thank the Vista Chamber of Commerce um, for, for, uh, not, uh, for awarding my son, our son, Jordan Deaver, this uh, Russian story. It means, it means quite a lot. Um, it goes without saying, there's a lot of people that play, played into this culmination from his parents, aunts, uncles, near and afar. But I want to take a moment to thank the teachers. And, and I've said this once and I'll say it again, too many times they put in so much work. They're so committed to our, to our kids, but they never get recognized. And um, we know that Jordan came here last semester and, you know, knew the minute that I dropped him off there, he was going to be in good hands because we have leadership like you, Mr. Clevenger, um, the assistant principal, Coach Graham, all of the teachers there. I just, I could talk all day about, about all the contributions, not only for Jaden or, 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 or Jordan, but, but his older brother, Amari, as everybody knows him. Um, I am so proud of him because he's he's a hard hard worker. He is so committed, as what Coach Graham said, and he truly loves his teammates. He truly loves being at Ranch of Buena Vista High School, and you know it, it just goes. Sometimes I get at a loss for words of just how how proud we are of him, and um, thank you very much. Thank you very much for being for being that, showing that leadership at school. And thank you, Coach Graham, for all that you do. Sure, appreciate that. So thank you very much. And uh, with that, Rachel, I'd like to pass it back to you. Thank you so much, Mr. Clevenger. Thank you, Jordan and your family for being here this morning. Um, next up, we'd like to hear um, from Alta Vista High School, Ms. Barr. Good morning. Thank you, Ms. Feld, and thank you to the Chamber and to all the sponsors for this opportunity and for the scholarship opportunity. Um, uh, it's my honor today to introduce to you Fernando Avalos. Fernando came to Alta from Vista High midway through the first semester of this year. Fernando really struggled in his freshman and sophomore years, as so many do, and he fell behind in credits. The thing about Fernando is that he's always been very capable of doing excellent work. He just wasn't really trying very hard. And as awful as COVID was, it actually worked in Fernando's favor. It gave him some time to reflect on what he needed to do. And he decided he wanted to do better in life and in school. So he started this year at Vista High with a new attitude. He worked hard and he actually came out with straight A's with one B, amazing progress. Unfortunately, the damage he did in his earlier years made it impossible for him to graduate this year from Vista High. So he decided to switch over to Alta. That was an excellent decision. He kept his attitude and his efforts strong and he made amazing credit recovery. He's now only a few weeks away from graduating. So he went from not graduating at all to being able to graduate early. So he is truly a rising star. Here he is, Fernando Avalos. Morning, everyone. Uh, hello, my name is Fernando Avalos. I'm a graduating senior at Alta Vista High School. Thank you to the Vista Chamber of Commerce for having me and my sponsors, Ms. Barr, Ms. Aviles, and my parents who were unable to get out of work. I also wanna give, a, give time to thank my past mentor, Mr. O, as well as my, 
our security guard, Mr. Cleveland, and Mr. Filzer, my soccer coach, for all our support. I'm an example of what Alta Vista High School helps students accomplish. I grew up here in Vista. I was a student at Vista High School until October of this year. When I, when I transferred, I was a semester behind, but more importantly, I felt like no, no one was in my corner. I'm the type of person that shuts down when I don't feel supported. I was aware that I had fallen behind and went to teachers and counselors. I felt frustrated that, that knowing the only solution was to switch schools. I wanted to graduate with my class and my high school, as well as with my best friend. One afternoon in, in October, my parents received a phone call to bring back all my materials the next day. I had to attend also the, then. There was no meeting or discussion. I didn't, I felt like I had been kicked out of a home. I started at Alta Vista shy and worried because I had heard that Alta was a place where dreams had come to die and there, and there was no way to get out. I was surprised to find every teacher would talk to me and was very friend, friendly and gave me lots of options to work ahead and get extra credit. I was happy to feel accepted by others. I felt like, I felt like I was part of a family. I was able to quickly make friends and join lots of sport teams. Slowly through the years and or slowly through the months, school started feeling less like work and more like having fun. This last trimester, I was able to earn 52, 52 credits, which is double what most students earn in, in a trimester at Alta. I did this by taking on two sports, turning in extra credits, working ahead in every class and accomplishing projects. I feel that not only did Alta give me something, I gave, I gave them something as well. I try and bring a positive attitude each day. I have joined the sports teams. I, I volunteer to help any school improvement projects. I even, stepped up, I even stepped up and was on the student committee for WASP. You're welcome, Ms. Aviles. I attempt to be a leader for others to follow. Not only will I graduate on time, in fact, I will graduate early. I will graduate in a few weeks or so, having earned a 4.0 in my last trimester. Knowing that if I put my mind to something, I can succeed. I plan on paying it forward by helping my 13-year-old brother stay on track and focus. I'm an example of how grit can, have, can help you in school. I could have chosen to stay broken down and drop out when I left Vista High School, but I chose to fight and prove them wrong. This is something I want to teach my younger brother. After high school, I plan on attending UTI, which is also known as Universal Technical Institute, and study engine management, welding, as well as body painting. Once I begin working, I would like to pursue my other dream, which is to attend Maricosa and learn how to become a beer brewer and get into the industry. I plan on using my perseverance that I have learned through, through this year to meet all my career goals. Now here I am, a student who grew up struggling to read, having to grow, to grow up, to go to the library to pick up, to pick out a book in the same reading level every year because I did not make progress. I'm about to graduate high school. I'm very happy to be able to stand here tall and proud and speak with my heart. Who would have thought? I would, I would never picture myself in this scenario. Thank you to everyone for supporting me on my journey. And I would like to end my speech with a quote from Kung Fu Panda, which is, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift, that is why it's called a present. Thank you, Fernando. That's one of my favorite quotes, too. Uh, we are all very proud of you. And now we'll hear a few words from your teacher, Ms. Sati Aviles. Good morning. My name is Sati Aviles. I'm a teacher here at Alta Vista High School, and I'm very... Um, proud to be able to recommend Fernando for the Rising Star. Uh, it was pretty much a slam dunk across the whole campus. Um, so we're very excited to be able to recommend him. He's a student who encompasses not only what Alta Vista stands for, but what Vista Unified is standing for, which is a student who has respect, he's kind, he's diligent. And at the end of the day, you'd be proud to have him represent the community. Um, when he started in October, uh, we do an advisory every morning just to help the kids deal with virtual and Canvas and just their daily life. So when I when he clicked in, I said, oh, you're a new student. Um, and basically within two minutes, he had schooled me on everything. Like, oh, I've signed up for Remind. 
can we review my transcript? So he was already ready to go. Um, and then we came back uh, a little earlier than some of the other schools and we've, and there was maybe 10 kids the first two weeks on campus, but <laughs> he was excited to be here every day. And he brings with him uh, his personality, his school spirit, students wanna be around him. He has a lot of natural leadership qualities. Um, he's taken advantage and bonded with past mentors and coaches. Um, so he just brings a lot to our campus and we're really excited that he's going to have such a positive future and we hope that he always comes back and visits his Alta family. So congratulations, Fernando. Thank you, Ms. Aviles. And it is back to you, Ms. Bell. Thank you so much. Um, wonderful to hear from our students this morning. I say this every month. It's my favorite Friday. I love hearing from these kiddos and what they can do and um, how they have navigated life's challenges. So thank you so much for sharing. Um, all right, next up, we are going to hear um, from Vista High School. Mr. Justin, would you like to, uh, we'll start with Oriana first. Okay, yeah, I'd love to. Um, thank you very much, again, Rachel, and all the sponsors and everyone who's here. And indeed, it's one of the best days of the whole month. So congratulations to all our rising stars. You guys are Tremendous inspiration, I tell you. Our first student we'll go ahead and start out with uh, is also an uh, inspiration, too. And I don't think Oriana's mother could make it. Oriana, did she make it here, you know? Is she here? Oh, man, that's awesome. But I'll tell you a little bit about Oriana first, and uh, and you'll see what truly remarkable community she is as well. But uh, Oriana's from uh, Cameroon, and she, uh, she left there a year and a half ago and uh, to come here. The United States to, to go to school. And uh, it's difficult, as you all know, to, a fresh start in a new place, but uh, and leaving your family and, and your country and your homeland. But Oriana's adapted to a new school and, and country exceptionally well, especially under the circumstances. Um, most of uh, the time she's been here, obviously, has been with, with the pandemic. Uh, she was not able to experience a lot of the, the great things of San Diego, and she's been kind of held up and hold up in, 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 uh, in her home where she's at now. But uh, instead of, you know, reacting in kind of a negative way, she took that as a challenge, it seems. And she's uh, rallied a lot of people around her. And we have some of those people here with us today. And uh, uh, she built up emotional supports herself as a great advocate for herself and uh, um, just takes wonderful initiative to, uh, to get the things that she needs in order to to exceed and, and, and excel, and she's just tremendously inspirational. I'll go ahead and uh, introduce Oriana because I know I don't want to sit there and steal her thunder, but uh, I want her to, to, to tell you about some of the great things that she's done. And uh, um, we're so lucky to have you here, Oriana, and I, I think you have uh, brought a lot to us. And even after you leave, uh, the impact that you're going to have on, on this school and the, the people you've touched is going to be tremendous. So. Uh, um, but your great resilience, determination, maturity, um, all the hard work that you've shown, your positive attitude, your never surrender spirit, it's laid a great foundation for you and you're, you're gonna do great things. So uh, uh, it's my pleasure right now to, to introduce Oriana Loth. Okay, good morning, everyone. My name is Oriana Ziuta and I'm here with Ms. El Shama, my teacher and my mother who is watching me. I would first like to congratulate all the rising stars of the month. You guys made a great achievement. And I would like to thank Ms. El Shama for nominating me and for, the school, for all the school administrators who believed in me and believed I was worthy of this award. So I came here in 2019 to pursue my education for greater and better opportunities because I come from Cameroon. But I was originally born here in the United States, so technically I'm a citizen. But I went through a lot, mainly the change of environment, adjusting to this new life away from my family because I have no family here, no family member here. And COVID now, it has really been a lot, but it has built my resilience. So I haven't been able to do much for our community due to COVID and all, all, all the other circumstances, but I hope to do more in the future. So I recently got admitted to University of California, San Diego, where I've committed and will major in biology to later, hopefully by God's grace, go to med school 
and become a surgeon and then I'll be able to do much more for our community. I would like to thank all the teachers who accompanied me, who opened the doors for me. I am very grateful to be part of you guys' community. This is a great community. And I'm so grateful for my mom who opened the doors for me and gave me the opportunity to come here. So thank you all. Thank you much, uh, very much, Oriana. And uh, you mentioned that I saw Shama nominated you, and she is also with us. And I hope that she'll be able to speak a few words and, and tell us a little about her, her experiences with you as well. So, Shama. Good morning, everybody. Um, wow, this is just like the best way to end a week. I just so wonderful and inspirational. Congratulations to all the students. Um, I'm so honored and thrilled that Oriana's mom is here because she's with us from Cameroon. I mean, you thought Houston was far. I think that's got to be a first. Hi, good morning. Um, welcome. We absolutely adore your daughter. Um, Oriana is just a, a special, a special young woman. Um, I met her first because she was with my partner next door, um, Nurse Patty, who's who's in here as well. Um, I kind of saw her in there a lot, and Nurse Patty said to me, "You know, maybe you should meet um, Oriana. She's really special, and she comes in here a lot, and you know, she's kind of lonely." And so I started talking to Oriana and heard her story about. Um, being here for her education so far away from home and, you know, just trying to boost her up and help her feel like she had some people here. And um, and just when we were starting to talk about having some kind of newcomers group or something like that, the pandemic hit. And I know she had been so excited to go home and see her mom over the summer. And of course, like all of us, all plans were canceled. And um, I just, my heart hurt for her and for her mom as a mom myself. I know how hard it is to be far away from your children. Um, but like Oriana said, she's really resilient and just just kept moving forward. She made friends here. She um, works super, super hard. Her teachers love her. Her teachers call on her a little bit too much because they know she always is the one who's gonna speak up and have the right answer. Um, but she's just an amazing young woman and very focused. And um, I can't wait to see what her future holds, UCSD and med school and whatever else you decide to do. Oriana, we are super proud of you um, at Vista High and hope that you continue to stay in touch with us. Thank you, Ms. Alshama. And uh, we're fortunate too to have uh, Oriana's mother with us. And I know Oriana, you can't ever replace your mother with people, you know, but I think that our staff is, has been able to step up and help uh, do our best to, to try to um, kind of bridge that gap for you and, and to help you out while you're here. I don't know if uh, if your mother is able or if she would like to say a few words, but uh, Natalie, Natalie, are you able to uh, say something? Yes. Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Welcome. Wonderful to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Really happy to be able to join you. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, Oriana's mom. I, I live in Cameroon, like she said, uh, she actually moved to US to, for greater opportunities. So I'm really uh, amazed of all the progress that Oriana made over those past 20 months because she arrived in the US in August 2019. And she has been able to familiar with her new environment so fast I think in August, uh, October 2019, she joined um, one of the team, dancing team of uh, Vista, Vista High School, which was really great. And then uh, we all have this uh, pandemic that arises across the globe. So, but that did not change her will to, to succeed. She maintained the same uh, level of commitment in her study, the same as the one she had in Cameroon where she was also a good student. And uh, I think that having her being selected uh, to represent uh, high school is really a great, a great reward uh, and uh, of her true uh, resilience. I'm really happy for her. I'm also happy because she, she would join the college that she, she selected. It was not easy because uh, she did not do grade nine or grade 10 in US. So they had challenges 
admitted her, but she succeeded and convinced the committee. I'm really proud. Applause. Oriana, you can be proud of you. <laughs> so, and uh, I think uh, that's it. I want to thank um, the Guardian, actually, uh, Stephen Dews. He was not able to make it, but uh, I really want to thank him. It's uh, 30 years of friendship. Oriana, he is like her first daughter. He also have two beautiful daughters, but they are younger. And uh, Stephen has really been instrumental on this uh, achievement. I'm really, really grateful for that. And I thank all the teachers, all the counselor who has always been available despite the new context of working online and all those things. I'm also happy, Oriana told me that I think since last week, she's able to go back to school and she's really happy about that. Thank you, thank you all for listening. Well, thank you very much, ma'am. We are fortunate today to have another student with us, um, Alexia Costa. She was our rising star last month. And uh, we didn't get a chance to recognize and celebrate Alexa last month, so we're fortunate enough to have her and her family here this month. This month, Alexa, yeah, just so you know, too, I, I hear a rising star goodie bag here. In my office is sitting right behind me, so as soon as I'm able to give it to you when you get back to school here, I, I got it for you, okay? But uh, just a couple of quick, quick things about Alexi. She's a leader within our campus and very involved in many activities, both during and after school. Um, She's been very active in character leaders in soccer and also in theater. Um, and she brings a positive shining light with her all the time. And uh, she's a wonderful role model that we have on campus. So uh, so without further ado, Alexi, I hope you're able to speak a, few, uh, speak a few words. Good morning. Thank you. I'd like to thank um, the Vista Chamber of Commerce and the Vista Unified School District during this past year has been very difficult, especially with the pandemic, but I know I was able to get the support I needed from the VISTA staff and my friends and family. And for that, I'm very grateful, um, especially the first semester was very draining. I had a tight schedule. I was up doing homework all night. I didn't really have time for homework. It was just, it felt like I wanted to give up, but I was always reminded by the staff, my friends and family that they were there for me and that there was no reason to give up. So I will continue working hard and pushing through and I don't wanna give up just yet, so, or at all. But I'm very thankful for the support I got especially when I felt like I was at the lowest point of my life. But I'm very grateful for everyone who has helped me. I know I wouldn't have been able to achieve this reward without the help from the staff. So I'm very thankful. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, uh, Alexi. Appreciate that. And um, uh, Ms. Alshama was the one who nominated you as well. And Ms. Alshama, would, could you say a few words about Alexi as well? Of course, I am so happy. How how lucky that um, there are two students who I've had the honor and privilege to work with who I get to speak about today. Um, Alexia, I've known for a few years. Uh, Alexia is a really very strong student and one of those students who you kind of have to say, it's okay, like you're doing enough, you're doing enough, like back off a little bit, you're going to be fine. Um, because she just works so hard and she cares so much about the quality of what she's doing um, all the time. And sometimes people have pretty intense life struggles. And as a school social worker, that's sometimes um, my world. And thankfully, I've been able to um, support Alexia a little bit. She has great family support as well. And it's just been tough. And for anybody who has any kind of struggle, um, that has nothing to do with the pandemic. And then we layer the pandemic situation on top of that. It's just like exponentially more difficult. Um, and that I would say has been the case for Alexi. However, um, just she did not give up. Like she said, she just kept going one foot in front of the other. 
Um, she reached out when she needed help. She stayed in contact, which is so important. When you need help, you got to ask for it and know that it's okay to get help. And um, she's just worked through and worked through and just continues to just be not just a stellar student, but a stellar human being. Um, and I'm super, super proud of you, Alexi. Um, her drama teacher, when I said, hey, do you have a few words about Alexi? She like sent me a whole huge email about how amazing Alexi is and that she's the student that is always jumping in when another student needs help. Oh, you need somebody to do that. You need somebody to do this. You need somebody to stay late to help out. She's that student who's always, always helping and just a great community member. And um, we're just we're just lucky to have her at Vista High and just super honored that I've been able to know you, Alexi. Congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Alshama. I know the purpose of what we're doing here is to recognize these kids, and uh, they are amazing, each and every one of them. But we also have, you know, Ms. Alshama, we have a, a counselor here um, who's also watching. I know we have other support staff here and other teachers who are a big part of what these kids are able to achieve. And during this pandemic, and it just is an, uh, definitely a test of the fact that it, it, it does take a village to raise, uh, raise kids, you know, and we all do it together as a great team. So, um, I just really inspired by the work that's done here and you students who are able to, to go get through this pandemic and, and uh, achieve such excellence uh, during such a, a, a very challenging time. So my hat's off to you and thank you very much for all the staff and uh, hey, we're here for you. Okay. And um, I don't know. Uh, I think that uh, Alexi, I think your, your father is here as well. Um, I didn't have the pleasure to meet him, but uh uh, would you like to say a word or two? I just want to say thanks to the Vista Chamber of Commerce, the Vista Unified uh, School District, and also the Vista High School, uh, uh, helping us uh, with Alexi and, and uh, you know going through everything she was going through. So I really appreciate everybody at, at Vista High School to uh, stepping up and helping us out. I know Nurse, Nurse Patty has been a big uh, a uh, big help too. So I want to say thank, uh, thanks to her too. Uh, uh, as parents, we are proud of Alexi. Uh, she's a, a strong woman, a young lady. Uh, she's uh, dedicated. Uh, so much that sometimes she just doesn't know when to stop. And that can be, uh, that's something that we have to deal with. But uh, she's a fighter and uh, she's a, uh, She's working hard through whatever you through uh, uh, which what she's going through. Sorry, uh, but uh, we really proud of her. Uh, Want to say thanks to everybody again for this award. Uh, it means it means a lot to us. Uh, I was telling Alexi that throughout my school years, nothing like this ever happened to me. No, I got no awards. Nothing special. Uh, so I'm really proud that she was, uh, she's uh, getting this award. Uh, she's uh, make us proud, I know. Thank you, sir. You should be proud of uh, your daughter, like you said. And you've done a lot of special things with her and you support these key kids. So thank you very much. And all the parents who are here right now, thank you very much. And especially uh, um, Natalie from Cameroon uh, coming all this way to, to spend some time with us. So. Thank you all very much. Congratulations, students, kids. You guys are inspiration. Uh, keep up the good work. We're almost home, right? But don't give up. Keep that resilience going. And um, thank you again. And back to you, Rachel. Thank you so much. I love hearing from these students. It's so great. Um, thank you. Um, okay, next up, we are going to hear from Troy City Christian School. Mr. Baldwin, take it away. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you for this opportunity again each month. It's a little bittersweet for us. Uh, we as a smaller school only come in every other month. This is our last one. Uh, and we love uh, nominating the kids, but this is so close to the end. Uh, it, it's bittersweet. We uh, uh, met with our teachers and, and staff and, and asked for names. And, and uh, one student's name just came up over and over again. It was unanimous. Uh, I love it when that happens. Uh, and so I'm just proud to introduce to you Ruben Avila. Uh, he came to our campus uh, 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 in the beginning of this high school year, uh, a quiet, his wonderful smile brightened the room, but, but very quiet uh, and uh, just continued to let his light shine. Uh, uh, learning the language uh, while he's here and just becoming a part of our student body, uh, reaching out last year, I, 
personally watched and reached out to a new student that we had as well at helping him get incorporated into our school. Uh, just been a bright light on our campus. So without further ado, I'll introduce to you our rising star, Ruben Avila. Um, hello, my name is Ruben Avila and I go here to Tri-City Christian High School. I've been coming here for four years. This is my senior year. Uh, um, also here with me in other classroom is Ms. Borders, my civics and economics teacher and also one of my favorite teachers. Um, my host mom is here, Janet Sullivan. And I would like to, first of all, I would like to thank God for this opportunity that he's given me for everything that he's done in my life and to get me where I am today. I would also like to thank the Vista City Council, teachers, friends, and family who have helped me to get here where I am today. A life lesson that I would like to take with me to college would be that I believe that if we put our faith and trust in God, we will be able to accomplish what we want. Hard work and dedication combined with our trust and faith in God will get the results that we want and need. Um, I came to the United States halfway through my freshman year. Uh, it was a difficult <laughs> process learning English, but um, it is one of my greatest accomplishments. I came from Tijuana, Mexico, and I was going to all Spanish speaking schools uh, most of my life. The switch from all Spanish to all English was difficult and I could barely understand the information given to me in my classes. I'm doing well now and improving day by day. I, um, friends, family, and teachers have been most helpful on my journey to learn English. My plans for the future are to attend Maricosta College and during and major in criminology. I am. During this process, I will be applying for citizenship here in the United States. And after college, I would like to apply to the San Diego County Sheriff's Department located in Vista, eventually becoming a California Highway Patrol officer and hopefully becoming an investigator. Thank you all for your time. Awesome, thanks very much, Ruben. Great that you're coming back and bringing it back to this too, that's awesome. Um, up, uh, next is his teacher, uh, Mrs. Borders. Hello, everyone. Um, excuse me, I'm pregnant and very hormonal. I'm like crying right now. Um, I am so <laughs> beyond proud of Ruben. And I'm even though I'm the one that got to be here today, Mr. Palmer, Miss Patty, Miss Powell, all of the teachers here at Tri-City were jockeying to be the teacher that got to talk about you, but I'm the lucky one who was chosen today. Um, so Ruben is just such a standard of excellence here on our campus. Um, if you're walking through the halls, unlike most teenagers, he will always say hello to you, always, even though he has his mask on, you can tell he's smiling. Um, if you ever need help with anything, he's offered to carry my boxes for me, push the Chromebook cart. Um, he's always the first person to volunteer to help. Um, and the light of Jesus always is just shining out of him whenever you're talking to him. Um, he works two times harder than any other student in my class. He is the first student to turn in his assignments. He tries his best to put in all of the effort that he can. And he is doing so well in civics and economics this year, which is very difficult concepts for an English language learner to um, learn and to thrive in. Um, so I am just so proud of Ruben. Um, it's been so fun to discover his career goals with him this year. We did our personal finance unit and he was just so excited to explore what he wants to do and um, create a path for his life. And I just wish him nothing but the best. And it's been an honor to be able to be his teacher this year. Thank you, Allison. Uh, up next is his mom, uh, host mom, Jan Sullivan. Hi, good morning all. Can you hear me? Good. Um, my name is Jan Sullivan and I'm Ruben's guardian here in the United States. Uh, first, 
I would like to thank God and his amazing grace for allowing me to be part of Ruben's life. No tears, no tears. Um, I'd also like to thank the Vista Chamber of Commerce Rising Star of the Month sponsors and dignitaries, as well as Mr. Baldwin and Mrs. Borders and all the amazing staff at Tri-City Christian School. I met Ruben almost 10 years ago where he lived at an orphanage in Tijuana where his mother worked. Um, to me, the Vista Rising Star of the Month's mission statement is inspirational. Uh, and one part of that mentions overcoming life circumstances without compromising their education. And so Ruben knows this well. Um, on his first day at Tri-City, his literature class was studying the Odyssey. <laughs> and that was challenging as he had not yet started speaking in uh, complex English sentences. So you can only imagine. Uh, every morning, I would drive Ruben seven miles to the bus stop at college in 76. And then from there, he would catch the bus with his bike in tow. Um, and then at Oceanside Boulevard, he would ride his bike up college. And for those of you familiar with the area, you know, that's a steep hill. <laughs> and then at Thunder, he turned and head over to Tri-City, rain or shine, hot or cold. Um, and that, that all happened before school even began. So I'll, I'll just wrap this up. Ruben's love of learning and his amazing character uh, and his integrity and endurance inspire me. Sorry. Um, thank you, Coach Goodwin, for believing in him. And thank you all for your time. I'm going to send that <laughs> with tears and I'll send it back to you, Rachel. Thank you. Thank you. You know, um, when we uh, did the, when we do this program in person, we have tissues on every table and there's a reason. So Ms. Borders, um, it's not, you're, you're not hormonal. We all, every month we all uh, have tears in our eyes. Um, when we hear from these amazing and inspirational students, uh, the things that they've overcome and just how inspiring they are. I, I learn from them every month. So um, with that, we're going to hear from our, our final school of the morning. We're going to hear from Mission Vista High School. Um, Mr. Walton, take it Excellent. away. Well, thank you, Rachel. And um, yeah, I just want to start by echoing the, the sense of gratitude that all of us on this call have for you, Rachel, and your team and the chamber, uh, the sponsors, everybody who, who's able to make this event continue to happen. Um, mornings like this are, are wonderful reminders of why we're here and, and why we as educators, why we do what we do. So um, congratulations to all the rising stars, uh, Jordan, Fernando, Oriana, Alexi, Ruben. My goodness, uh, I've been coming to these for I think five years now. And these are some of the most inspirational stories uh, that, that I've heard at Rising Star. So um, it's a wonderful day to start, a wonderful way, excuse me, to start the day. Um, and, and as rising stars, you should be proud. You're, you're one of very few students that your schools have chosen for this honor. Um, I have the privilege of introducing another rising star, this time from Mission Vista, Tiffany Gavin. Uh, Tiffany is a young woman who, who's driven. She's got just this incredible work ethic. She's super involved in our STEM pathways at, at MVHS, and she's somebody who leads by example. Um, she too has had her fair share of challenges to overcome, but most people would never know it. Uh, she's not a person who will let adversity get in her way or allow it to be an excuse uh, for pursuing excellence. And, and quite frankly, we're really lucky to have her at Mission Vista. And so with that, I'll turn it over to Tiffany, who's here with her mom and her nominating counselor, Mrs. Kenny. Uh, take it away, Tiffany. Hi, everyone. Um, before I begin, I would like to thank the Vista Chamber of Commerce and other sponsors for hosting this amazing event for recognizing students. I am Tiffany Gavin from Mission Vista High School, and I'm here today with my mom um, and my counselor, Miss Kenny, and Mr. Walden, my principal. Um, so when I was about eight years old, I was diagnosed with a 30% hearing loss in both of my ears. Um, so each day that I attended high school, it's like a a challenge and it was difficult to hear many points during lessons, learning, and even the simplest things such as having a conversation. Um, I've had many challenges with that and um, it's always been an obstacle in my life, but over the years I've learned how 
you it's about how you view yourself and your perseverance that can help you to overcome anything that may be challenging. Through hearing loss, I've learned many lessons throughout the year. Um, I will take many of them with me to college as my hearing loss continues to decrease. Um, and I plan to use them in my future goal profession as a medical professional. Um, many people do not know about my condition because I tried to keep it hidden due to my fear of people's reactions to it as a result and because there's a stigma surrounding hearing loss disabilities. But in the future, I hope when I become a trauma surgeon that it shows that people like me know that their disability does not define them and that they can accomplish anything if they put their mind to it. So thank you for allowing me to have the opportunity to share my hearing loss story with all of you, which has been a true obstacle in itself that I have overcome. In the fall of 2021, I will attend the University of California, San Diego. Um, I got into the Marshall College and I plan to major in molecular and cell biology with a pre-med pathway um, with the overall goal of becoming a trauma surgeon in the future. Once again, I would like to thank the Vista Chamber of Commerce, all the sponsors, um, and all of you for taking your time to be here today. Thank you. Okay. That was great, Tiffany. Thank you so much. Um, and next we'll hear from Mrs. Kenny, her nominating counselor. Mrs. Kenny. Yes, okay. So I am terrible at these because I get all sappy Sally too. So um, all every single one of you here that have been nominated, you're amazing. And the stories that you hear, they just, they just, they're, they're good for the soul. They bring tears to the eyes. But um, in regards to Tiffany, Tiffany since day one on campus has just been stellar. She, nothing gets in her path. Anytime I'm like, how, what supports do you need? How can I help you? I'm good. Very like even keel, no issues, like any opportunity that's thrown her way in regards to helping others or improving in her ability to move into the medical field. She is just taking every opportunity that she can. Her leadership here on campus, she's president of the HOSA. Like she, I can't, I can't even begin to like say all the things that Tiffany does that is just, I'm in awe. So Tiffany, you are amazing. And I know that you're going to do great, great things in this world. And I just hope that you continue to realize how amazing you are and that you don't let any of the you know, negative stigmas or anything like that get in your way, which I don't think you will because you haven't so far, but I'm just so proud of you. And I couldn't be, uh, you know, uh, there's no other words that I can say, you, you're amazing. And even the way you give back to the community and all that you volunteer with, like you are such a stud at, and mom, you are such a great support system as well. And, you know, the way that you guys communicate with me <laughs> before I have a chance to like, don't forget about this. I'm like, I'm on it. Like you guys are just stellar. So continue to be amazing. Continue to do the wonderful things that you're already doing. And um, I can't wait to see what, what the, what your future brings. Congratulations. And I appreciate you. Thank you, Mrs. Kenny. Um, and Tiffany, I see you have your mom there with you. Mrs. Gavin, if you could say a few words. All right. All right. Thank you. Um, good morning to the members of, um, sorry. Okay. Uh, um, good morning to the um, members of the Chamber of Commerce, the sponsors, Dr. Doyle, Mrs. Kenny, and Mr. Walden. Sorry. Our hearts are elated to hear this joyful news about awarding Tiffany as a shining star. To our family, she has always been a shining star. <laughs> um, sorry. Her perseverance and determination to accomplish all her goals keeps her motivated in life. She starts with the end goals in mind, and it's nice to see that her light shines for others. All right. I would like to acknowledge Mrs. Kenny, Mr. Walden, <laughs> and her amazing teachers these past four years. Mrs. Kenny, thank you so much for this great honor. We appreciate all of your expertise and guidance over these last four years. You have assisted Tiffany with um, her goals, advocating for her needs, and always making sure she was on a path to success. You've done so much work behind the scenes and you do not go unnoticed, especially during these unprecedented times. Mr. Walden, thank you for making your presence known on campus. 
Even when you are an assistant principal, there is no greater way to start the day than seeing you greet all families as they enter the parking lot of Mission Vista, and you still do. And I would also like to thank her Mission Vista teachers and the district for the Pathways program. Tiffany will be completing this program this semester. Thank you all for this incredible blessing and honor for our beloved daughter, Tiffany. We are forever grateful for this award. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Gavin. And again, Tiffany, congratulations. Uh, with that, Rachel, I will turn it back over to you. Thank you so much, Mr. Walden. And thank you to all of our Rising Star students. Um, and I wanna just uh, take a moment to acknowledge all of the adults in your life, um, your parents and people who love you. Um, they've done a great job um, supporting you and raising you. And it's obvious we have some amazing, amazing students uh, this month. I'd like to take just a moment to kind of highlight some of the takeaways I took from some of your comments. You know, Jordan, um, it's incredibly difficult to transfer school ever. Um, I, I went to 13 schools by the time I was 13. So I can definitely understand that transition and how difficult that is. But um, transitioning it as a senior uh, is incredibly challenging and kudos to you for stepping up and, and, and leaning into that and um, doing such a fantastic job. I was really uh, touched by how touched you were about this award. Um, you're an incredibly, it's obvious you're an incredibly humble, humble, young, humble young man and um, you're gonna do great things. Congratulations to you. Fernando, we are all in your corner. Um, you talked about how you realized that your teachers were in your corner. We all are, everyone on this call and everyone in Vista, we are all in your corner and we're lifting you up and, and wishing you all the best as you uh, graduate early uh, after such incredible obstacles and, and move forward. I, it's great to hear you had a 4.0 this trimester. That's an amazing accomplishment. And I know you're gonna do amazing things as well. Oriana, goodness, I can't imagine um, navigating this last year um, in such a way and away from my family. And I wanna just especially give a shout out to your mom. Uh, as a mom myself, I'm, can't imagine being away from my kiddos and what an inc incredible sacrifice it is to send your kiddo across the world to seek better opportunities. And I'm so inspired by your story and how amazing to get into UCSD. We have two students going to UCSD to study medical. So that's great. Um, and uh, I just, I know you're going to do amazing things. I'm, I'm so inspired by your story and thank you for sharing it with us this morning. And thank you to your mom for being here. Alexi, um, I loved how you talked about never giving up. I think we've heard that a lot from a number of our students this morning, but you really highlighted that well in your comments. Um, and I loved that um, uh, your counselor, Ms. Alshama, talked about that you are doing enough. You're doing enough and you're working so hard. Uh, I can hear that maybe you might be a little bit of a perfectionist. So I hope that you'll give yourself a break and you let yourself make mistakes um, and um, just but never give up. Keep working hard um, and congratulations to you. Gosh, Ruben, I would, when you started speaking, I would have never guessed that just a few years ago that you did not speak English. How incredible to be so um, eloquently well-spoken and I'm sure in, in Spanish as well. Um, I can barely master the English language, much less uh, be so eloquently spoken um, in, in multiple languages. And uh, I was incredibly inspired by your story. And I love that you're, would like to come back and shadow in Vista with the Sheriff's Department. I might have some connections there, so give me a ping. Um, I'd love to, love to hook you up there with maybe a shadowing opportunity. Um, but congratulations to you, and um, what an amazing story. Um, Tiffany, um, thank you so much for talking to us this morning about your journey and about hearing loss. Um, and um, I love what you said about about that your disability doesn't define you. And I think that that's a good lesson for everyone, not just about a disability, but we all get to decide what defines us. That's up to us to decide what defines us. And I love that you are working so hard and that you're going to be going to UCSD and that you're taking your experience and transitioning that into a way to help other people. Uh, just so incredibly proud uh, to have you this morning and so incredibly thankful for all of that you shared with us. Overall, this morning, we heard continuing theme, themes of resilience, despite transition, 
I mean, this last year, everyone's been in transition, but these students in particular, on top of that, have had these additional transitions and you've been incredibly resilient and strong. But nonetheless, you all expressed your gratitude. You have such an attitude of gratitude and that is an inspiration to me as well. Um, and so I just wanna thank you all for sharing your comments and your stories, kudos to you kudos to the hard work that you've done and to your teachers and your parents and adults in your life who love you. Um, I'd like to um, thank you all for being here this morning. Thank you for being part of our vibrant VISTA community. We want you to learn, grow, get the rest of your education and come back and, and grow your lives here in VISTA. Please bring your talents back to our community. We need you in VISTA whether that's in the medical field, whatever you choose to, as a sheriff, whatever you choose to do, we want you back in our community. Uh, we need our rising stars to lift us all up as well. And with that, I'd like to say thank you. Uh, that concludes our program for today. Thank you to Prime Video Productions for editing our program. And, um, and please uh, check in with your administrators about the scholarship opportunity applications. They're coming up due in just a few weeks. Um, and I wanna wish you all the very best. Have a fantastic weekend. Thank you everybody for being here.